we get out of here, obviously. Um, I won't list all the senior players out injured because we'll be here till kickoff. But is, there, is anyone likely to be able to play a part tomorrow? Yeah, as you mentioned, we have a few. Uh, a few still in contention. We need to give them 24 more hours um, and to give them a chance to be involved in the game, but we won't know anything until tomorrow. Is there anyone definitely not going to be available? I know. The long, not the long term one. Timber is for sure not. <laughs> Thomas Part is for sure out. Um, and probably Emil is out. And uh, there might be a few more. Can I ask you about Saka specifically, though? Because yeah. the last time he, he was called up for England, went and was sent back. Is something similar likely to happen this time? Hopefully not. We want our players to play to, um, to play for the club and play for the national teams. And uh, B had to leave the pitch because he was in quite a lot of pain. He didn't train yesterday, and um, and let's see if he can if he can make it tomorrow. But had he not selected this time? Was that because of injury? Well, I don't know. I don't know the real reason. That's a question for for Gareth. I know how important for him it is to to be in the national team. How much he enjoyed the last few experiences, and uh, and that's a decision that is not in in my hands. Uh, with Thomas, you mentioned him there. He's he's had this procedure. Apparently, that's not really going to affect the amount of time that he's out. Is that right? No, hopefully not. And he's progressing really well. But um, but yeah, it was a significant injury, and um, I said that hopefully it's going to be weeks and not months. And he's working towards that, and uh, he needs support, and uh, and hopefully the injury will heal in the right way, and uh, we'll have him back because he's a he's a big player for us. And then if he is back on schedule, this will then I guess go off for the African Cup of Nations. So he could be without him for most of the season. Well, that's part number two. Let's get him fit and, and healthy as quick as possible and and playing a big part in the team, uh, which I think that uh, that he can do. Aaron's in the England squad, but um, Carlos Sanchez, have you spoken to him about it would be difficult selecting him for, for the Euros if he's not playing regularly in six months' time? Has he, has he spoken to you about any concerns? No, I haven't spoken to him about him about that topic, no. Have you heard of the independent key match incident panel? Mm -hmm. Well, they've decided, uh, in, in their wisdom, uh, three former uh, either players or coaches, a referee and a, and a Premier League person, that, that, that that Newcastle goal, that goal was was a valid goal. Your reaction? I think I, we had a lot of reactions after that match. It's time to move forward to focus on on Burnley and, and talk about uh, tomorrow's game. Would you like to know who these people are? Sorry. Would you like to know who these people are who made the decision? I think at some point we will know. So. Yeah. When when you're not working day in day out again in the future, would you like to join this panel? It's a possibility. Everything is a possibility in this life. <laughs> and just Vincent Company, who you know very well, yeah. you played played in Burnley, which is what we're here to talk about after all uh, tomorrow. Uh, three years ago, I think, as coach and yeah. captain, how's he doing? At, Burnley and how surprised, surprised are you that he came up? Not surprised at all. Um, I think he was already a coach when he played. Um, he was a leader. He was someone very intelligent that that could um, navigate in very different scenarios really well. Um, in dressing room, above, he understood the game really well. He spoke several languages and, and you could tell straight away that he was going to be a, a top coach and obviously he's had um, a very strong career already. What they did last year, it was incredible, especially the way they did it. And uh, and then yeah, in this Premier League, uh, we all have difficulties, we all have good moments, and uh, I'm really happy to see doing what he's doing. We'll go to Jake from the Premier League. Hi. Hi. Are you surprised at how tough maybe they have found it this season, Burnley? Well, I think looking back at the games that they played and the results that they got, in some of them they merit much more than what they got. I don't think that reflects actually what they deserved in games. Um, but this is the difficulty of this league that when you deserve more, sometimes you don't, you don't get it because the quality of the opposition is it's so high. But um, the way they have transformed and um, the way of playing the club and and how they continue to play with the belief that they do for me is is remarkable. Obviously, you were the, the, the assistant and he was still playing at Manchester City, but did you ever, the, the two of you, discuss being managers later on? Yeah, we did discuss it. He was doing his badges. Um, I was there already and uh, and he was very connected to the coaching staff, very connected to the team. And, and we had a lot of talks about football. And, uh, and you could tell us straight away that he was going to be a coach very soon. Do you see any perhaps similarities in the style of football that you both try to play? 
Well, I think uh, we have a lot of similarities in what we want to happen in games. I think their approach and the way we do it uh, probably different. Hopefully it is different, uh, but uh, I really like Wajito. Thank you. Go to Bradley from TalkSport.